in your face. You start to downsize your dream. Who am I talking to? Who has downsized your dream because you have a desire, but you lack the dollars. You have a hope, and yet stuff ain't falling into place like you want it to fall into place. Am I talking to you yet? I'm trying to let you know that for some of us back then, it's right now, and if it happens right now enough, you'll start to doubt yourself. I'm not even done. You may even and start to doubt God. God, I thought this was what you gave me. God, I thought this was what you were up to in my life, but the door shuts in your face. And if I'm talking to you, please know you ain't even by yourself because heaven's hero and earth's emancipator, our Lord and liberator, our sovereign savior, I'm talking about Jesus. He got rejected. Yeah, Jesus who healed the sick and raised the dead. Jesus who made a way out of no way, walked on water. Jesus, who did the impossible. Jesus, who took a two-piece and five biscuits and multiplied by dividing and fed a multitude. Y'all, they rejected Jesus. Why y'all playing like y'all not getting this? Because if you live long enough, I don't care how high, holy, and happy you may walk around acting like you gonna get rejected. Earth thing ain't gonna go the way you want it to go all of the time. Who am I talking to? You thought y'all would be together forever, but then they showed up the real person, and all of a sudden you tried and you tried, but that thing just wasn't designed to stay together, and you feel a sense of loss and failure because that was not your intent. Who am I talking to yet? Who started on a job only to have people conspire behind your back, and they sabotage every review that you had. Who am I talking to? You tried to build your own business, but funding did not come your way because in America it's not just an achievement gap. There is a results gap. Y'all didn't get that. You can work just as hard as the next person and not get the same results that they get. I guess y'all not feeling me right now. Back then you didn't want me. Now I'm hot. You all on me. And so in our text, the Bible lets us know that back in chapter 3, Simon, Peter, and John had gone up to the temple at the hour of prayer and they healed a lame man. They didn't have any money but they had the Messiah. They did not have any gold but they had enough grace and enough God. They didn't have silver but they had the Savior. They said in the name of Jesus of Nazareth get up from there and start walking. This man was born broken but the text lets us know he got up and got his praise on and while he's praising a crowd comes out from the church to see what's going on. Y'all missed your shout. He is not praising God in church. He's praising God outside of the church. Why? Because sometimes you got to just praise God wherever your deliverance takes place. You see, if the only time you praise God is when you show up in church on Sunday, then your praise is probably kind of phony. But if you know how to drive in your car and every now and then say thank you, if you know how to be at your computer and every now and then then say, bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continuously be in my mouth. Do I have some praisers in the house who can testify? I don't just wait to get to church to praise God. I praise God all the time. So here it is. I love it because the text lets us know that the man is healed. He gets happy. Peter exegetes the miracle, talking about it's in the name of Jesus. This man was healed. The power structure ain't feeling that. And the text says they have them thrown in jail. But when they were thrown in jail, here comes your shout right here. The church grew. You didn't shout. Here it is. They grew through what they went through because every now and then God recognizes the only way for you to grow 
is you got to go through something. And some of us are here today, and we ain't smart because we just read books, but we're smart because we went through enough hell. And the hell we went through gave us what we wouldn't have gotten had we. Does anybody know that God is a way out of no way? How do you know? You know because you were stuck like Chuck in a jacked up situation and out of nowhere God opened up a door. You know that because of what you've been through. Baptist Church.